need you to watch this video all the way through to the end because i'll be sharing this delicious soya milk recipe with you in three flavor hello my beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel and to all my viewers i want to say a very big thank you to start with the making of the soya milk what i will be using is soya beans and this is my soya beans so the first thing you will do is to soak this overnight so i'm going to add water and leave this overnight to soak After soaking this overnight, this is what it's looking like. So it has also doubled in size. So I'm just going to wash it by peeling off the peel. Just the same way we peel our regular beans. So I finished washing my soya beans, so it's now time for me to start blending it. So I'm going to add this to my blender, then add some water, then I'll start blending it. After blending my soya beans, this is what I have. Can you see how smooth it is? So I'm just going to repeat the same process to continue blending the rest of the soya beans. After I finish blending my soya beans, this is what it's looking like and this is what I have. So the next thing is that I will start to sieve my soya milk. So the first time, this is the first sieving I'm doing. I'm using my strainer for this. You can as well use your cheesecloth directly to sieve this out instead of using your strainer. After I finish sieving in the first round and that is the milk I get so the shaft I'm still going to add more water to the shaft and I'm going to sieve that shaft the second time so I'm just going to mix everything together then at this time I'm going to use my cheese clothes to sieve it out properly so for this soya milk the quantity of soya beans I use is 1000 gram then I'm using 6 liters of water for the 1000 gram. What I did, I blend the soya beans with 3 liters of water. That was what I used to blend the soya beans. So when I want to sieve it the second time, the shaft that I had water to, I add another additional 2 liters of water into that shaft. So that is what I did the second time. You can also blend your soya milk with the old 6 liters at the beginning then sieve everything together. But the reason why I add my water bit by bit is because I want to be able to control my soya milk consistency. So I don't want my milk to be too watery by the end of the production of the soya milk. Since you can still add more water to it at any stage of the production. I will be leaving the measurement at the description box below. I also go ahead and sieve this the third time before I start cooking it. So that is what I'm just doing right now. So right now I'm going to transfer my soya milk inside my pot that I place on the fire. So I'm going to allow this to boil on low heat for 20 to 30 minutes. So once you are boiling your soya milk, you see all this foam on top of your soya milk, you are going to remove everything so that you can see your milk very well and you keep stirring your milk at every interval so that you will not allow your milk to burn. 
If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because on my channel I share amazing recipe that you are definitely going to love and enjoy. And once you subscribe, please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that when I drop a new video, you will be notified. So my soya milk is ready now. So I'm going to take this out from the heat and let this cool down properly before moving to the next step. So this is my soya milk, I've allowed this to cool down a little bit so I'm just going to remove that dry skin on top of the soya milk. So after removing that, the next thing you are going to sweeten your soya milk and you can use any sweetener of your choice, any sweetener you want to use to sweeten it is perfectly fine. But in this video, I'll be using jaggery syrup to sweeten my soya milk. So for my jaggery syrup, I use about 1 liter of jaggery syrup to sweeten the old soya milk so that is what i'm doing i'm just going to stir in everything together so the next thing i'm doing now is to sieve this for the last time and that is what i'm doing so i tie my cheese clothes round the bowl then i will start sieving this so that is what you are watching me doing right now Right now, I had additional one more one liters of water to this just to loosen it up a little bit if you notice your soya milk is too thick. So after that, I had a pinch of salt. So right now, our soya milk is ready and you can bottle this up. So what I'm just going to do right now is just to have different flavor of soya milk. So my first flavor is strawberry flavor. So I had some strawberry flavor to that. So after adding my strawberry flavor, I go ahead and add a dash of pink food coloring. Then I stir that together. That gives me my strawberry flavor. So moving on to my second flavor, I'm doing chocolate flavor. So what I had now is my chocolate flavor. I used some chocolate flavor, then I get some cocoa powder. I just use about one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Then I had a little bit of the milk just to stir the cocoa powder so that it can dissolve very well before adding it to the other soya milk. Then after that, once you had your cocoa mixture, then you stir everything together and our chocolate soya milk is ready. For the last one is my vanilla flavor so i'm just adding a little bit of vanilla flavor to that or you can as well leave it as plain flavor like i said earlier so that is the soya milk recipe i hope you'll be trying this recipe you are definitely going to love this recipe so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and leave some comments in the comment section My beautiful people, this is my soya milk recipe. I would like you to try it out and I'll be waiting for your feedback. So beautiful people, till I come your way in my next video, keep believing in yourself. Bye bye guys and thank you for watching.